One of the unfortunate realities about using a chat application like Discord is that so much telemetry and data is collected on you even when you have the toggles turned off and we're going to learn about that today. But first I'm going to actually show you proof of what I just said. If we go into the user settings here, head into privacy and safety, you can see use data to improve Discord, use data to customize my Discord experience, allow Discord to track screen radio usage. This is all off. Now I've logged in in the browser because you can't actually do this in just the client. So I'm going to open the logger in uBlock Origin. You can see there's a few things here. Might be confusing, but let's just, just hear me out. So whenever I click on something or do something, this slash science appears in here. So https discord.com slash api slash v9 slash science. Why does it say slash science? It's because Discord is intentionally trying to get around your ad blocker. Back in the day, they used to have a slash track URL. It was very easily detected by ad blockers. So they called it slash science because science and stuff. But make no mistake, this here shows in uBlock Origin that it is sending telemetry back to Discord despite you having turned it off in the settings. As well as this, when I start typing out a message, uh, you can see here we've got v9 slash channel slash, that's the channel ID I think, and then it says slash typing. So it sends to them when you're typing as well. So how do we turn that all off? Well it's actually very easy, but it does sort of require a sacrifice from you. The Discord client on your computers and your phones cannot actually block this stuff unless you use some sort of external solution and you're fancy and cool, but this is easy and we don't want to do things that are hard. You need to be logged into the browser version of Discord and you need uBlock Origin installed, which can be found at this link in the Chrome Web Store and for the two of you that are still on Firefox, don't worry, I will include a link for you guys too. So to install it, uh, this button here will just say add to and then the name of your browser. I'm using Brave. So you click add to your browser and it will add the extension up here. It may be, you may have to click this puzzle piece to find it, but it is there. Now what we do is very simple actually. We hit the extension, so uBlock Origin. Then we hit these cogs here, which will take us to the dashboard and then once we get here, we'll see this menu and we want to click my filters. You'll see this here. Actually, you won't see that. I did that before the video, but that's not relevant. Uh, you'll just have a blank page. So in the description will be this text here. So the reason this actually has a star here instead of V9 before anyone asks is that the V9 stands for version nine, presumably when they upgrade it to version 10 one day, this will still block it because that star means that it's sort of a wildcard sort of thing. So anything can go between the V and the slash and it will still be blocked. So you want to highlight these two, copy them with control and C, paste them with control and V and hit apply changes. So to get it all working, you simply refresh the page and it will all be working. And to prove it, you can see there's a number two, number three there. So it's already blocking stuff. If we open the logger, look at that. So the red stuff is stuff that's all blocked. So if I click there, there you go. And then I'll start typing. The typing is blocked as well. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, before I do go though, I want to shout out to this blog post that I've found. Pretty much it's all about the horrible things about Discord and it's kind of where I learned about this trick. Make sure you read this, it will be in the description. I have no affiliation with this person, I don't gain anything from you going here. This is a genuine recommendation. So thank you for watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. Uh, there's actually a new sort of bigger video coming along soon, so uh, so tune in for that. It's gonna be like a real script and everything, I know. I know you're all, you're all cheering on, all 20 of you that ended up watching this. And uh, look, I'll see you in the next video.